In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a disclaimer message to your uh, Office 365 emails. Um, this is useful to give your users um, a, a caution or a warning message. Uh, it's typically used for um, emails that are received uh, outside of your organization sent by an external sender. Uh, you can see this example here. Uh, it's good to help uh, fight uh, phishing emails like this one where it's telling the, the user to click on this link, which could lead to a phishing page that asks for your user's username and password. So these disclaimer messages just help the user know that uh, it just gives them information that the email is from an ex external sender and be cautious on opening uh, links or attachments. And you can also use uh, disclaimers to add, to append to outgoing messages, such as this one where I've sent the customer a, a quote, and when I sent it, it attaches a legal disclaimer uh, to the bottom of the email. So the first step is to open up Exchange Online, and then go to Mailflow, Rules, and then add a new rule, create a new rule, and then just give it a name, I'll add tag external emails. And then you're going to apply this rule. Uh, the sender, and then is external internal. And then you're going to select outside the organization, click save. And then do the following. You're going to apply a disclaimer to the message. Select prepend a disclaimer. Enter text. And then on my website, I've got the HTML right here. You can just copy, copy and paste this and change it as you need. Click save. And then on fallback action, you want to select wrap, click save. And then you can add exceptions. Um, so maybe you've got certain users uh, that you don't want this a message to apply to, and you can just you know select whatever you want there. So that's it, it's a pretty simple uh, rule. So just click next. And then you want to enforce it. Uh, you can select whatever priority that you need, um, and you can customize, you know, time frames. But I'm going to leave it just like this because I want it to apply to everything. Uh, match sender address and message so at the header. Like next, review and finish. And sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to finish saving. Uh, it should pop up and say transport rule created successfully. Click done. Um, so the rule is created, but now you need to go enable it. To do that, just click on the rule and toggle it from disabled to enabled. And it could take up to an hour for the rule to uh, completely be enabled, but once it is, you should start getting this banner message. Um, on any emails received externally. So this email here was sent from a Gmail account and it's putting this banner message uh, at the top of the message, top of the email. So that's it. This was a quick video. Um, I'll link to the, the, the article in the notes that you know has all these step-by-step uh, -step instructions, the HTML code for the, for the disclaimer, and then I've also got other examples for uh, how to append a disclaimer to all outgoing emails, and, the, and there's the HTML uh, code for that. And then I've got another example on adding a disclaimer with specific emails. Uh, and this one, for example, I'm tagging any emails that have the words update your password. Uh, those could be phishing attempts, and you may want to add a disclaimer to those messages. And then I've also got some steps on how to how to add a disclaimer with PowerShell. Um, 
Although PowerShell, you can't really customize the message. Uh, it's just going to look like this here. But if you want to do it with PowerShell, there's the steps for that. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.